If you want to know how I edited this video, then stay tuned and let's go straight into editing. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Karen, your favorite video editor. So for this clip, I just recorded myself in one spot walking back and forth, back and forth. Yes, I didn't move my phone at all. Just recorded the same thing over and over. What we have to do is just add text. What text do you want to appear in the first clip? Like you saw me, I walked front, then I walked back again. So what text do we want to show at that first part of the scene? So we're just going to add the text that we want, make, expand it to the screen size. Make sure you put it where your back is. Like, as you can see where the um, text is, it's kind of close to where my back is. It's not where my head is because the text is going to come out of my back, not my head. And we're going to expand this text to the end where I was walking back after walking front to where the window is. Do you see that? That's for the first clip. So, as you can see, it's, come, it's going to show like it's coming out of my back by the time we're done with this editing. So, the next thing we have to do now is do for the next text, the next working front and back. What do you want it to show next? You're going to type down the screen. Mine is stay tuned for more editing tutorial. So, I'm just going to type that on the screen. As you can see. Then, I'm going to add my font, style, and then place it to that exact spot like the other text make sure they are at the same spot yeah i like this font so i'm going to just change this one that i used initially to a different style yeah so this is nice so make sure they're both at the same place as you can see coming out of my back for the first one the second one same thing same thing so we're going to just expand that to the end too the next thing i want to do is download this clip and then we're also going to remove the text yeah, we're going to delete the text and then download this clip alone without the text. Now we're going to create a new project on CapCut. We're going to input the video with the text and then click on overlay and then bring in the video that has no text. That's why I told you guys to download the video without a text. Do you get it? See, it's a new video. We're going to make the video without a text and overlay as you can see on the screen now it's an overlay we're gonna make sure the overlaid video starts from the beginning to the end like the other video and overlaps it like you can't even see the other video now we're gonna select the overlaid video and go to max we, oh my god i love this part go to max click on horizontal now we're gonna flip the line to look not like this but the other way around because we want it to come out of our back. So we're going to move the line back, all the way back, that you can't see the words anymore. We're working on the overlaid video, not the original video. The overlaid video is selected, as you can see. So what we're going to do now, we're going to use keyframe. So as you can see, I've clicked on the first keyframe. Now I'm going to click on max. And as I move, the line will move at my back. Can you see the way I'm dragging the line? Any slight movement, I move the line directly to my back directly to my back so it looks like the words are coming out of my back so as i move forward keyframe is being added automatically so you don't have to click on it every every time so just move a little bit add keyframe move a little bit add keyframe make sure that the letters are when you move the line make sure it goes close to your back so it looks more realistic to get if there's a space between the back and the letter it won't look very nice so we're gonna just watch this again do you see that? No space whatsoever. It looks like it's literally coming out of my back. Now, to go back, we're going to do the same thing, but the other way around. As we're turning, we're moving the clip forward. Or we like to say backwards, because we're actually going back. So we're going to be moving it back. Back. Still using that same mark, still on that same overlaid video. We're just going to move it back. Back. As we move, it's moving with us. As you've seen this, like, watch what is happening on the screen. Now, if you watch it again, moving forward. Now, we're going back. Erase. That's to erase it. Do you see that? Exactly. Now, let's do this for the second wording or the second text that we want to appear. We move a little bit. We move the line forward. Note that you're not cropping anything. You're not splitting anything. This is one clip, one overlaid clip we're working on. Move the line directly to your back. Are you seeing it's going directly to my back? It's already touching my body. The light is on my body. So it looks like it's coming out of my back. Same thing. And now you see this white feathering tool? Yeah. Make sure 
you add feathering by just dragging it forward a little bit yeah not too much just a little bit so you know as you're moving back it will look like it's fading out of you and fading from your back fading out of your back yes that's what the feathering tool does as you can see can you see that can you see that and that's it so now when we rewatch it making use of the max and feathering tool i will be dropping little tutorials like this on my tiktok but if you want to up your editing game and content creation in 2024 before 2025 subscribe to my youtube channel bye